Dear friend, each person has a unique way of learning, and finding the best study technique for oneself is crucial. There are several techniques that can be tested and experimented with, and what works for you may be different from what works for someone else. It's important to keep in mind that the learning process is personal and intransferable, and requires dedication and patience. Among the most commonly used techniques, we can mention the use of flashcards, mind maps, book questions, the Pomodoro technique, question and answer sessions with friends, teaching someone else, and spaced repetition. Each of these techniques has a specific purpose and can be applied at different times in the learning process. Flashcards, for example, are ideal for revision and can include images or translations of words. They are an effective way to recall important concepts or definitions. Mind maps, on the other hand, are a daily review technique that involves placing the main topic in the center and branching out to include related information and images. This helps visualize knowledge in a clearer and more organized way. Book questions are a way to identify knowledge gaps, starting with easier questions and gradually increasing difficulty. This helps identify where the greatest difficulty lies and concentrate efforts to improve understanding of the subject. The Pomodoro Technique is a way to manage study time. It consists of periods of focused study, followed by intervals for rest. These intervals allow the brain to rest and recharge, avoiding mental fatigue and increasing productivity. Question and answer sessions with friends are a way to collaborate and learn together. This technique can help identify points that still need improvement and clarify any doubts that may have arisen during the study process. Teaching someone else is a powerful learning technique. By mentally organizing information and explaining it clearly and simply, it is possible to fix knowledge more easily and efficiently. Finally. Spaced repetition is a technique that involves scheduling material reviews at increasing intervals to improve retention and avoid the forgetting curve. It is a way to reinforce learning and ensure that knowledge is retained in the long term. Regardless of the chosen technique, it is important to remember that the learning process is continuous and requires constant dedication and effort. There is no magic formula for learning but with perseverance and discipline, it is possible to achieve excellent results and succeed in any area of interest. Stay focused, persevere in your studies, and never give up on your dreams. Success is possible for those who believe in it and work for it.